and you are being recorded. Okay, we are doing... If you're speaking first, then you're standing up. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> we're doing the pro on um, transgender going to bathrooms. Uh, we are arguing that... Transgender people should be allowed to use the bathroom that corresponds to their gender identity. Okay, and, and as we talked about, gender identity is how they feel on the inside. <clears throat> so I think that um, we should, <coughs> they are at home, that are the same, the different sex, men or women, go in the same bathroom at home, so why shouldn't we do it in public restrooms? It just has a label on it. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so um, you want to give us a little bit of information about the video, that why you're showing us this, and then I'll show the first two minutes, and then you can give us a little summary of what you noticed from the video. No, Lucella, are you wanting to respond to them? Oh, no. I, oh. Just, I just thought we were just like going to go back. <sighs> oh, well, they're all going to speak, and you guys are all going to speak, and then you'll have one more chance to respond to each other. Um, okay? And this is a social experiment on um, what people think about transgenders going into that. Okay, so a social experiment. We're going to see the, two, the first two minutes of this video. Pick up computer. Oh, now I have to sign back on. Oh, and you're signed in as yourself. Yeah. Lexi, I need you to come put in your password for me, please. I changed it yesterday. I forgot. Well, that means you remember it. If you changed it yesterday, that's one good thing, right? Okay. And you can press play. Here, and you may have seen the video I did on transgender people using the bathroom, where I dressed up as a transgender. Well, Today, I got three real transgender people, and they're going to use the women's room. Let's see how people react. So my name is um, Aubrey Blanco. That's what I go by. Oh, I'm 22. 22, right? Well, so she's the one that was in the girl clothes. You know what I mean? So I used to always shoot out the door or whatever, and I think I'm in trouble. Well, I'm going to be in trouble because I'm going to be in trouble. Me, on the other hand, I think I would, you know, I want to dress. I want things like that, you know, but it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot different with living in society. You know, you don't wake up and just be like, oh, I want to be a girl. I don't know. It doesn't work. I mean, you have to say, yes. Like, you play. It's like drag queen. I'm going to be like, you can't do that. So, you don't have to worry that. Pretty much. Pretty much. What band do you do? Well, female. Yeah, you can dress up as a female. Yeah, they do. Women as far as we call women fish. So yeah, of course fish are gonna get mad. Something as good as this walk in, you know. <laughs> yeah, all the time. All the time. Yeah, I I get clues every day. Why do you think they get so mad? Females get I don't know why I mean, I think they think it's competition, but it's really not because they have a vantage over us. They just think we do a bad thing. Really so they have a puss. They're a pitch, they're real female. everything on tape and audio because there's so much going on the women that were going in there and coming out either they were totally uncomfortable with them being in the restrooms with them or they were comfortable but not comfortable if they had their daughter in there I think it is because that these transgenders specifically look very masculine I think that because this was in a public place the reactions were different than when I did it and I snuck in behind them I will admit it was kind of creepy. I'm gonna now do this social experiment with another transgender who looks more feminine and see if there's a different reaction. Hello, my name is Ari Swanza. Oh my gosh. I'm a transgender woman. 
I was I was transgender when I was about five or six, and I found out what the word was, and I looked it up, and I thought, oh god, this is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> Don't answer questions about surgeries because I'm trying to change the narrative, and we're taking the sex out of transsexual, or people have to see us as individuals, and whatever you do in your transition is your decision. So whatever I did may not be the right path for someone, but um, I've done what I can to feel comfortable with who I am as a person. I use the women's bathroom. Do people ever complain? Not to my knowledge. I've never, I've never been accosted in any female bathroom. I usually, no. I usually ask for tips of makeup or something. How do you feel about sharing a bathroom with a transgender woman? You know, you know, a problem. Did you even notice? No. Didn't even notice. All right, thanks. Yeah. Like, uh, how did you feel about sharing the bathroom with someone who's transgender? Did you even notice that there was someone transgender in there? No? Alright. How did you feel about sharing the bathroom with someone who's transgender? Did you, did you notice there was someone transgender in there or no? No. Thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like, share, and subscribe. As you can see from the results of this video, that women feel more uncomfortable when the transgender is more masculine. When they come off more feminine, they don't seem to care as much. And the ones who don't care are very uncomfortable with having their children in there with them. Let me know what you think. Would you let your child in the bathroom with these transgender people? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Joey Salads. Thanks for watching. Mm. I wouldn't let my kid go in the bathroom. Okay, so back to our debate. So, Lexi, did you want to add one more statement now that we've seen this video? <laughs> like he said, like some of those people were saying that uh, the people that were okay with it, if they had kids, they wouldn't let their kids go in there. Okay. But what's the difference? If you feel comfortable with it, why wouldn't your kid feel comfortable with it? Okay. And, <laughs> and all kids are not like they never are born racist or... You know, so they wouldn't care. They don't. Okay. Gabby, are you next? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and deliver your statements. As transgender people have been using public bathrooms and locker rooms for decades, policies that allow transgender people to use the correct bathroom, the bathroom that matches their transgender person identity. And then... Protection. protection for sexual orientation and gender identity, which means they prohibit discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity in the workplace, housing, and public accommodations. Okay, so that list of states, those are ones that have protections for transgender people, right? Okay. And Gabby, you were going to argue a little bit about, uh, about danger or not danger? Did you want to say one more thing about that? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move on to Joanna then. So Joanna's making the final statement for now. Um, I think that a trans woman should not be forced to use the men's room where she's at risk of being assaulted. Forcing transgender to use particular bathroom is encouraging violence. Transgender POC in particular are at a very high risk of sexual assault, rape, and hate crimes than other any other group. Mm -hmm. But it goes both ways. Are you ready to speak? Are you guys finished for now? 
Okay, so you can take your seats, and then this group is going to come on up, and Lucella, you, you can make your argument. Um, I think that Alyssa was going to go first, but if you guys decide to change that up, then feel free. I'm ready. I'll make the last statement. And Joanna, did you find that to be a fact, that transgender women are at higher risk of violence than any other group? Did you, was, that a, was that a fact you found? Okay, because I have heard that, and I wasn't sure if it was like backed up by by uh, studies, but okay. Okay, so our argument is transgender people should have to use the restrooms that correspond correspond with the sex on their birth certificate. Um, first off, or. I think that letting transgender people use the public bathroom is gonna start um, is gonna make the sexual assault rate go up. Since it's already happened, there's been more than one cases on it. A college in Toronto opened a gender neutral bathroom, and within two months, there was already two incidents. One of the incidents was two college guys in the girls' locker room pretending to be girls. Um, videotaping girl shower with their cell phones. In another, in Toronto too, not in the college but somewhere else, um, he pretended to be a woman going by Jessica and was in a women's shelter and sexually assaulted three women, a 53 year old, a 33 year old, and a 5 year old girl. I think that in that, um, <coughs> I think if we make all bathrooms transgender, or that all tran if we let transgenders use any bathroom, that the sexual assault rate is going to go up, <coughs> and that guys are going to continue to pretend to be transgender to the sexually assault women, and yeah. okay. <laughs> Can I add on to that? Please. And Lucella, are you next or were you going to go last? I was going to go last. Okay. But so I go ahead and add on to Alyssa, and then you also wanted to respond to something that they said. Oh, but I was just going to add on. Like she said, it's not even in the bathrooms. Like, As in it's said, not it's, only the bathrooms? Yeah, it's not only the bathrooms that they're just going to get out of hand. They're going to be going into the ladies' room and thinking it's okay and like into the locker room or wherever a girl can go just to get her own privacy. Oh, and also, too, that's the difference. A bathroom is more secluded. There's not that many people. It could be even more dangerous than a locker room, which is in a school, which there is adult supervision. Okay. Do we make that comment after? Yeah, w wait for them to all go, and then you guys make further statements, and then they'll get one last chance to make a statement. Okay? Do I have to stand? Yes, please. more specifically about is uh, towards violence and kidnapping. As a transgender, them speaking for themselves, they don't know what their limits can be towards to as another person who isn't transgender. And it's not only isolating the fact that they're transgender. As shown in the video, we can't even tell whether they're transgender or not. But just the fact of knowing the high risk that we can face even more with even our own sex going into the same restrooms. I mean, there's been accidents where male, you know, towards male or female towards female. But I just believe that it just opens more doors because we're not going to know as said in our world, what the good transgenders aren't and what aren't. And as uh, one of the other speakers said, we share the same bathrooms at home. We know who are surrounded in our home. Our home is called home because it's a safe place, because we know who comes in and who goes out. 
but we're not going to call a public restroom our home restroom because we're surrounded by strangers. Um, the violence towards transgender using the same restrooms has gone extremely high. I didn't really get a percent on how high it's gone. But um, it's not only just sexual um, assaults that could happen. Some people don't have to have a sexual um, attack with another person, just getting the feeling of harming somebody. Um, and I just wouldn't, me speaking to myself, I don't have to, I don't want to have to worry about my kid knowing that he's safe or not whether if it's in a restroom or even in a public mall. It's just we have enough things to worry about with other than transgenders and I feel like adding that I shouldn't have to have another thing to worry about. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's my turn. Lucella, okay, you're gonna um, finish it up. Mine is on the education. Um, Obama put out a note saying that transgender should use their own bathroom based on their birth. <coughs> and if not, then he's going to end Did he? The, yeah. Based on their birth? On the, yeah, like using their own bathrooms. And he said that if they allow schools, then they're, they're, he's ending the funding, funding education, something like that. I've seen it. And it was like on May... May 12, May 13 or something. And so I think that's just like, and it's even affecting the school where the parents are taking out their kids just because they don't feel safe with like a transgender going into the same bathroom, into the girls' bathroom. And so most parents are just taking their kids out and even at the church school, they're like just wanting to like, because I guess in the church way, in the Bible, it says not to. Kathy, to the front like, desk, please, Kathy Jordan, to the front desk. Like, the Catholic schools are just going to shut it down because what if transgender, transgender goes into the ladies' bathroom? And then something in the Bible says that. And then just so you know, this is only about public places, so if it's a private place, they can still, they can have whatever rules they want. But yeah. Yeah, just so and you know the that. the Bible says that you aren't, like, if you're transgender, you're not being accepted or something. Is there mention of transgender in the Bible? There's yeah. Gays. Yeah. I mean, I know there's gay stuff, but I'm wondering, is there anything about somebody who changes their sex in the Bible? Yeah, it does. But like. Okay. Because I never knew that. Yeah, that would consider like a woman because he don't she he don't have a penis, so he has like so he has just like ours where we feel safe because, like we, like a guy can get fucked in the a. But a girl has more hurtfulness than a guy having it in his ass. And we I don't even know what to say. And, <laughs> and that's what we mean. Like they're gonna take it far if we have them in the bathroom or everywhere else. It's not just gonna affect the bathrooms. They're okay. gonna think it's okay to enter wherever they go and And are you that. guys arguing that transgender people are more of a threat than non transgender people? I mean, I'm not against them, but it's just that being in the bathroom as the same as a lady is just not right. I think what we're arguing is the people who pretend to be transgender. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, your concern is more for people who are not transgender who are acting like they're transgender yeah, rather yeah, than people who are actually transgender. Who yeah. We don't know who wants to prey on a woman Okay. because they don't have... A label that says I like women on their forehead. We okay. Don't know. So it's almost like it's the fear of the unknown. Yeah. That and like I say, like it's, it's scary just, not knowing who's yeah. going to be around your kid, what type of what they what kind of ideas they have in their head. Obviously, Everybody's they're just pretending different. to be a woman in the girl or in the girl's bathroom. Obviously, their plans aren't very good if they're okay. going to that extreme to dress up like a woman to be in the woman's bathroom. All right. Which has been happening. And so like, the. So, Oh, go ahead and make your, your finishing right. statement, and then the other team is going to have a chance to respond to what you said, and you'll have one final opportunity to I'm respond, say, okay? My final statement is I'm not against transgender people, but I just think that it should just be the way it is. Just use the bathroom, just what you're accordingly to use. Why make a big deal out of it? And just make the world go crazy and more violence around just the bathrooms. Okay. 
All right, thank you, ladies. And um, other group, I hope that you wrote down a couple of things that they said that that maybe bothered you or that you want to that you want to say something about. So come on back up, ladies. You're going to have your chance. I'm all of this in it. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, Lexi's getting fired up now. And this is what we want in a debate, for you guys to get involved in it. I do get involved, even when our class we get involved in All right, Lexi, you tell it then. Okay. Um, what you said on uh, how the violence is getting higher and stuff, but a tra it, people are capable of doing the same thing a transgender could do on a daily basis. It's just men, like you were saying, to college boys are using um, themselves, I mean, dressing themselves as a woman to go and, you know, sexually harass people. But that's not what, that's their stupidity. What transgender people, real transgender people want is to use their children. So they want and a girl, and, and the, same sex of a bathroom that they feel comfortable in. What's so wrong about that? Like, you use, you, everyone uses the restroom. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal. Like, oh, that's not just that. I don't know. And then, with the safety about the home, yes, you know who comes in and out of your house, but you're still using the same bathroom as a female and a male. What's the difference at, at a, a public bathroom? Yes, guys could look at a female, but also a female could look at a male and harass them. And even if we, if we still legalize this and, and say that, uh, that transgenders could go into a female's bathroom or a male's bathroom, then yeah, I think there's going to be more violence, but I think people... Hello, hi, can I make a please, Lucilla? No, I think it's her back. Oh, okay. It's like all the way to her butt. That's the reason why I didn't come yesterday. Okay. I'll be prepared to write an orange pass if I need to. I had so much to say and it just like came out all at once and it came out. And, and that happens. <laughs> but I think your bottom line is all real transgender people want to do is just do the thing everybody else does, which is go into the restroom that you're comfortable with and go to the bathroom and wash your hands and leave. And it's not their fault that uh, people are using um, uh, there you go. Their yes. ways to um, harass people and to sexually harass or violently. And I think males are more uncomfortable with it than anybody, than any female. That's how I feel. Because... So, for and example, those true. older ladies who were like, what, there was a trans person in there? Yeah, exactly. Like, they didn't even, even notice. notice. Like, in a, a female were to go into a male's bathroom, how would he know if he, he had, you know, a penis or a vagina? Like... How many vaginas have you seen this week in the women's restroom? Exactly. <laughs> okay. And so you change your baby, you change your male baby in a female's bathroom. So Okay. Gabby, Joanna, do either of you have anything to add? Sexually assaulted in a house in your own bathroom. 
or by a man in the women's room, or you could be dragged into the men's room by a man, or... A man could just walk in there and harass you. So you're saying that the issue of violence is separate from who gets to use which restroom? So even if they're saying that you sh like you're, you're going to feel safe at home, there are still cases that people are getting breaking into the house and then still getting raped and sexually assaulted and that they should have the right to feel safe in their home, but it still happens. Not just only in a, a public bathroom. Okay, oh, my phone's ringing. <laughs> yeah, feel free to rock out. Thank you very much, ladies. One final statement from you girls, and then it is gonna be time for us to leave. I think this is a good debate. I, I've got to say, I'm already way more pleased than I imagined that might be. Okay, good. Oh, it's a woman in a day camp, please. Okay. Yeah, you talk to it. Yeah, you'll talk first, and then, and then you'll go. She'll be okay. Okay, so the main point is the bathroom's not safe. Because, like I said before, you don't know who's transgender and who's not. Yeah, the, your bathroom at your home, it's a one-person bathroom. You're not sitting in the next area where someone could just go in with your pants already down. I think the point is that in public, we should be trying to keep our kids and ourselves safe. It might not happen the first time we use the bathroom with a transgender person, but it could happen the second, and then you could get sexually assaulted. Because you don't know how public, yeah, it might be a public bathroom, but you don't know how many people are around. And I think it makes us, as women, more vulnerable because we're letting our guards down. How many people go to the bathroom and think, oh, someone's going to come in and grab me and rape me? If you're using the bathroom with a transgender person who's pretending to be transgender, you don't know what could happen. Especially the ones that do look like if a guy really does dress up like a girl and looks like a girl, you're not going to have your guard up. And... I'm going to get my baby. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Cassandra, one more thing to add? You don't have to, but, but you have the option. Um, I don't know. As they said for yourselves, um, violence and anything that happen, whether you are transgender or not. Mm -hmm. But this, I believe we should, we should just leave those doors closed as it is and not let any more possibilities go through just for the safety and because <coughs> I believe that there's always going to be something that's not going to please everybody's how comfortable they are and I just think that some things should just be how they are for a reason. And like how you guys said, um, you guys don't even notice sometimes exactly so and I'm going to stop it there. Notice.